Howdy, folks. This is Gorbag on Gorbag.com and Gorbag TV, and we're going to talk about how to push your breath through the recorder. The first thing we're going to do is examine how to do that with just the, with a soprano recorder. And all we're going to do at this point is cover all the holes, like I showed you in the earlier uh, lesson. You're just going to cover all the holes nice and tightly, and you're going to just get a tone, just a beautiful tone. For as long as is comfortable, don't get yourself into an uproar about it. Don't make put yourself in the hospital trying to get a great tone for three three minutes and a half. <clears throat> if you hold that tone for, oh, let's count the seconds off here. Now I squeaked a little bit. So five seconds worth of good tone, I'm happy with that. If you can do five seconds of good tone. Now, if it comes out like this. You are flubbing. That's called a flub, meaning you failed. So you need to actually get it so you get a consistent five seconds of good tone. Right. You'll notice that your breath will vary as you blow. And as you get your lungs start to deflate, you're going to have to put a little bit more breath in. And then also you'll have to put in a varying. Your breath will vary throughout that because you've got heartbeat and respiration going on. You know, pain in the ass. But there it is. And so let's look at the same thing with the, this is with the alto. And let's do the same exact thing with the alto. Cover all the holes and just get a good tone for five seconds. Ready? When I moved my finger, the tone went off. blow too hard the tone goes off when my breath is uneven watch what happens right so it's a very even even tone the tone is going to be gorgeous just beautiful Like that. And at the end, when I took it away, I took my fingers away, you heard that little pop into the other register. So, all you're trying to do at this point is cover all the holes, get a good tone for five seconds. Sounds easy. That's what it's going to sound like at first. What you're looking for is, from the very beginning, by the way, that's not good. That's an uneven breath. That's where I'm gasping for breath. You take your breath and don't go, because <gasps> that isn't going to help. It should be a normal in-breath. Like that and the better the recorder the less flaky that's going to sound in the sense that you're not going to be warbling and so forth but it really ultimately has to do with your lungs your breath your embouchure the way that you handle air column in your body and the way that you have relaxed your mind the way that the beta does not get 
flaky and in between that because as soon as your beta throws in, you're going to get and so forth. You'll hear all kinds of crap coming through. So that is how you put your breath, start to put your breath through there. We're going to go to the next lesson. And in the next lesson, I'm going to demonstrate to you one benefit, one benefit of the wood recorder and why a wood recorder is three thousand dollars as opposed to a plastic recorder which is 75 bucks let's say okay so meet me in the next lesson i'll show you